Okay, so this is a harmony tutorial for the song Umba by Hansen from back in 1997. And this song has, I guess, special meaning to me because it was one of the first songs on the radio that I could remember. Um, my dad kind of used to just sing it as a joke when I was really, really young. And it caught on to me. And then I finally saw the music video on TV. And it was a song that I ended up liking. And for a little kid, I mean, it's a song easy to remember. Even though this song is borderline bubblegum pop, this song is deep. Like, it actually is. If you listen to the lyrics, um, a lot of people don't know what the song's about. But to my understanding, what Umbop is actually about, um, they describe Umbop being this frame of time where... You know, nothing really matters. You lose yourself in the moment and, you know, nothing really matters. But then you're going to snap out of it eventually and you're going to be back in reality and life is going to throw you in all these different directions. And you got to really hold on to the people who will be there for you to the end, the people that matter um, so you can handle all of it. I suggest listening to this song um, them when they're in their adulthood because the way they play it now is uh, actually pretty cool. I like the way it sounds. There's one particular one from 2005 that's just an audio file, and I really enjoy that one. Anyway, enough with the chit chat, we're gonna go into the melody now. And I can tell you exactly who's singing what in this one, cause, uh, I mean, there's only three of them, and the middle child sings the middle parts, the older one sings the lower parts, and, um, the youngest brother sings the highest parts. So Taylor Hansen singing the melody. So I sang this whole piece in falsetto because, well, his voice didn't drop yet during the recording of this, but kind of a funny fact. His voice started changing during the recordings of this album, and you can hear hints of it in this song, like his voice tensing up, little voice cracks here and there. But if you listen to the um, the Middle of Nowhere album, or even um, them performing live during 1997, during that year, you can hear his voice like cracking a lot and stuff, and he's really trying hard. I feel bad, but I think most of the world is understanding. You know, it kind of just happens to a guy. But overall, my own opinion, he did pretty well for a guy uh, going through puberty and stuff. Next piece is um, High Harmonies, which Zach Hansen sang. And um, his parts aren't in falsetto either. Um, he was a kid at the time, so he could do all that stuff. But here's me singing the High Harmony in falsetto. Okay, and together with the melody, it sounds like this. Okay, now Isaac Hansen sings the lower harmonies here, and it sounds like this. Okay, and together with the melody, it sounds like this. You know, I think Hanson is really an underrated band. I really dig um a lot of their uh, later stuff. I feel like Umbop really set an image for them that they were strictly this like you know teeny bopper pop band but um their later stuff is actually really nice in my opinion i like their sound and not to knock um anybody who likes you know that really poppy sound like heck i i love this song <laughs> um but yeah i think i think their um later material is really worth um 
checking out, even their latest stuff. Fun little thing about me, I ended up doing a project on Hanson in um, college. In my history of popular music class, we had to um, we had to do a project on like a problem in music. I guess an example would be a problem that a band had faced and had to deal with. And um, I chose Hanson because there's this documentary about them having problems with their label back in um, the early 2000s. And yeah, that helped me out a lot and I got a good grade. Okay, so if you got all that down, you can do a little something like this. Sing in harmony, live in harmony, everybody. Till next time.